All right, so today we want to go over some, some sparring. This will be new for you, you Ash. So this is going to be a good experience for you and everybody else. Um, we'll show you how you do it. So basically, so say Angelina and Keo, Keo get up. Yay. They've been doing this for a while. So obviously they don't want to hurt each other. But we'll see who has more experience, who is stronger. Okay. It's going to be Angelina, right? right? So then what she has to do is learn how to control her attack so she doesn't hurt him. But she doesn't want him to hit her, and if she tags him, she would like hit him just a little bit, just so he could feel it and, and know like where his mistakes are. But if and if Kilo ends up slipping through a hard attack, like like a good strike, then she's allowed to hit him back just as hard as he hit her. You know, and it, it just the more experience you get, then it gets a little bit more realistic. The attacks get faster. The attacks get more powerful, mm -hmm. but it, it still remains safe because you get better at getting out the way. You get better at defending, you know? But if the person doesn't know how to defend that well and they're getting tagged a lot, then the person that has more experience has to hold back the power and the attacks are going to hurt them too much. Okay? So just get an idea. Go ahead. and hits him with something hard, he's allowed to hit her just, just hard right, right back. <laughs> All right, ready, go.
breakfast bar. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to grab the camera. Oh. All right, so feedback. Um, so you, you're, the whole objective is to, to simulate like a fight, right? Now, for the most part, all of us are pretty much peaceful people here. So we're not going to be the one that want to initiate a fight. But, the, but it, out there in the street, somebody might come at us super aggressive. They're coming at us like with 100%. And then we have to like, boom, 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 do what we got to do, right? But then when we're sending you guys up to spar, it's like none of us are really aggressive. So then what happens is Jack, Jack is like, wait, okay, come at me. Chris is like, wait, come at me. And then they're just standing there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at each other. So nobody is being aggressive, right? So in a spar, you have to kind of simulate the aggressiveness. So you might have to do 50-50, you know, attack 50% of the time, defend 50% of the time, so on and so forth. Like, I'm not an aggressive person, but when I spar with somebody, then I'm gonna, sometimes I might put myself in a mentality like you're an actor. All right, let me pretend like I'm a bully. Let me just keep coming at them, see how they respond. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't mean that's how you are, but somebody has to take the initiative to attack in order for there to be a fight that goes on, right? So then that's just how it is. But you, you both did well, but just keep that in mind sometimes. Like, Chris, you might not feel comfortable or I don't want to hurt, but you still can throw attacks and try to get some tags in there to get her to use to blocking. Because the more punches that you throw at her face, the more that she has to learn how to block her face. Right. But if you never throw any punches to her face, then she just comes in thinking that she doesn't have to guard her face. Right. right? So it's not to her benefit if you don't attack her. Right? So you both are not, not aggressive people. But other people that we've that we sparred before, they're super aggressive. They just come right at you. And they're backing you up and you're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're kind of getting out of the situation. So, but when you're sparring against somebody who's not aggressive, sometimes you have to just attack them more just to get the thing rolling. So we're not just standing there. Okay? Let's have uh, Brandon and Ash. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Brandon has done this more. So this is your first time. So just not, not that hard, right? So just uh, control. And then, but if Ash slips something through, then go ahead, go back and hit him just as hard as he hit you. Ready? Okay. Go. Oh yeah, pause real quick. So up here is the, up to the face is open hands. Okay, no fist to the face. Did you say Hello. Light, no thing, well, it's it's up to okay. it's up to the to the people. Okay. Go ahead. We would prefer at least light or touch. Yeah. But not, not no contact. Still little contact. Turn it up a notch. Hey, go ahead, hit me back, Bob. Turn it up, and then you try to block, and then it's it's hitting you back too hard. Oh, let me turn it back down. So you just kind of let them know, hey, you know, just go a little lighter. There's no no. That's like you gotta get your ego out the way and just be like, hey, you know, it's cool. Let's slow down. Or give me a moment. It's just all about you controlling the situation to give yourself experience, but don't like overdo it, where people get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to monitor, but at the same time. You know your body, you know what you can take. If somebody hits you in the stomach and they hit you pretty hard, like, dang, you know, you're like, all right, you know, just a little bit lighter than that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how you got to communicate with the person you're sparring with in order for it to be the best for both. 
You know, rather than just be like, oh, let me pretend like it didn't hurt. And then you're like coughing up blood in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. that. Okay. So, okay. all right, ready? Yep. Go. But say it's like medium content and you're sparring with somebody that's really good, then there might be a, a situation where they do slam you on the ground. Right. And that's happened to right. me in the past. So what they would what they can do is they can come in and kick, they come in and then you come right here and then boom, Ooh. they trip your leg and then boom, you, you fall to the ground. Okay. Your back will hit the ground, your neck might hit the ground. Wow. Like it's a very it's like it's like it's basically like it it, it's, like yeah, it, can, it can almost like it, you, it drop you back. You see you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. If you don't know how to fall right, it'll hurt them back. Right, mm -hmm. so the person that caught the leg, like, all right, I don't want to hurt the person that bad, so let me not do that technique. Right. But say it's on the street, they're like, okay, I want to take this person out, let me go ahead and take him down. Okay. But other things that we could do, uh -huh. instead of taking him down, uh -huh. you grab the leg, you could just go pop him here, pop him here, and then let go. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like your free hits. Okay. Where you grab the leg, and then boom, you hit him mm -hmm. here. Boom, boom, and then pump, and then you let go. Mm -hmm. So you look in the... Um, the, the you look at the wooden dummy. Remember when we come into this part? You guys know what this is? What, is, what that is right there? Not real. No. <laughs> look, look at this. Like, say he did a roundhouse. 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 Or no, like this, this, this way. This way. So back leg. Like, so let's say, Brian. I'm bad with that. Do the roundhouse. Boom. You see that? Did you see that? Yes. Can you do it again? Look. Look. Like that. That's, oh, yeah, that's yeah, this right, right here. Right there, right there. <laughs> you see that move? Huh. Like he kicks me to the head. I blocked. Huh. And then you got it right you there. You see that? That's yeah. the move right there. And then you caught it. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Because right now he's on, he's on one leg. Right. He's on one leg. And then he's not going to have much power on his punches. Mm. And you beat him to the punch. You caught him by surprise. Because basically, right. he didn't... He did, in his mind, he doesn't expect for his leg to get caught. So he, it catches him by surprise. So during that moment of surprise, you hit them. Mm -hmm. But what happened was, he didn't respond quick enough. Mm -hmm. And then what you could have done, he catches the leg, and then he doesn't respond quick enough, boom, oh. boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You catch them in, and then now he's in And control. then you got your strength you know back a little bit. So you had to, you, okay, you caught the leg. That's great. Hey, you know. You catch the leg, like, ha, 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 I got your leg, I got your leg. And he's like, I don't care. And he goes, boom, <laughs> boom. You know, like, catching the leg is not good enough. You have to do something with it. Right. Catching the leg is not hurting them. So catch the leg and hurt them. And then you can let go if you want. But if it's more of an intense fight, then not only will they catch the leg, they'll go, they'll catch the leg, 
bump the hip, and then they'll still take you down. They take you down, you fall, and they go bam, 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 bam. bam. You know what I'm saying? That they can Brutal. end the fight right there, boom, catch your leg. Right. It can lead up to all of that. But if the person's being gentle with you, okay, I'll catch your leg, but I'm not gonna hurt you that much. Then they catch the leg, they catch the leg, and then they um, they just do a slight. Like, go ahead. You, they just hit you really quick and let you to go. But they really want to hurt you, once they catch the leg, they can, if they know what to do. But he's still learning, so he caught the leg, which is great, but he didn't respond quick enough. Okay? So these are the things that you're trying to train in your muscle memory to react to. If somebody catches your leg, what do you do? Because that happens to me. Sometimes they catch my leg. And then what I got to do, I got to break the distance. Mm. And then slam it down. But if you're like, oh, but you did a good job. You're like right here. And you're like here, and then you're like, you kick and try to jump. <laughs> like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> some people do that, you know, they're like, oh shoot, what do I do? And then like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, but th these are the, the, the things, situations. What do you do if something, if this happens, you know? Like, what if, like, this doesn't happen that often, but say, Brandon's in, in the gr on the ground, and then, okay, I'm on top of him. Okay, what is he going to do? How is he going to get off? You gotta, you gotta figure it out. And that's why we train it here, to give you ideas on what to do. So right here, catch the leg. Catch the leg. You can knee strike them. Elbow, you see that? Catch the leg. Bam, 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 you see that? So you come over here, right here. I caught the leg, boom, boom, boom. So right here, he kicks, and then I catch the leg. Bam, bam, okay? These are giving you options of what you can do. So, right here, I double block. I didn't catch anything. I just blocked it. So he kicks, and then I just block it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these are training you. Everything that we work on here, you're applying it in the spar to see how it works. Okay? All right, let's mm -hmm. have next Seagong and Angelina. <sighs> Ready? Go.
可以现做这样子。<咳>
The problem with uh, opening hands is you might accidentally poke their eye. I keep my hands up. Look at my eyes and stop crying the other day. Questions so far about anything? No. Okay. Uh, let's have uh, Jacqueline and Ash. Why are we
to not just go back, but you have to find your circle them. So say Chris is attacking me, and he's coming to me. Like, you don't want to just go straight back. Like, he starts attacking, you need to learn to cut the corners and, and move around them. You understand? Rather than say, oh, it's like, oh, um, time out. Okay, time out, time out, time out. And then, like, because basically in a, in, like, in a real fight, the people could try to corner you and then just basically start wailing on you. So rather than, than just going back and, and like, like expecting for them to back up for you or me to say stop, you need to like be able to be aware of your surroundings. Like, oh shoot, there's a wall behind me. Let me cut the corner so that I can circle them. So you have to learn how to do that. Um, you have to learn how to do that out of instinct and not just assume that the person is gonna stop attacking you and let you out of the corner. Like brands that backed up in this corner. In a real situation, if the person is super aggressive, they will try to end the conversation while they trap them in the corner. So it's up to Brandon to, to just get out of the corner and circle the opponent. So meaning when we're sparring, you're not supposed to just go to completely linear. You're supposed to be moving around them as well, cutting corners as you move around. If you need more space, then rather than for me to stop the fight or stop the match, or for you to tell them to move back, you have to you have to be able to move around them. Other techniques that I see you guys using a lot, like Brandon, for example, um, you don't want to kick them in the butt because they're powerful, they're, they're strong muscle. Like, it's not going to hurt them that much. So you want to kick them, like right, <laughs> yeah, kick them like right here on the thigh. Mm -hmm. The thigh is good, and then if, you're gonna, if you use the roundhouse kick, kick them to the head. So either the head or the thigh. But if you kick them, only if he punches, then this is a good kick right there. But if he doesn't punch, then that, that's not a good kick, okay? So if he punches and it's exposed, that's a good one. But if he does not, kick him in the thigh. Because for one, you're going to recover quicker. It's going to be harder for him to grab it. It's going to hurt him more than if you kick up here. You kick up here, he can grab it pretty easily, okay? So if, you're, if he doesn't punch out, don't kick there, kick here, or then kick there. He punches out, then you can kick there, okay? So just keep that in mind because... Where you aim when you kick makes a big difference. There's a big difference between kicking them in the, in the ankle, the kneecap, and the groin area, or the stomach. Every single, it's all the front kick, they're all front kicks. But depending on where you're kicking them, will dictate you know, what type of effect that technique will have. So the same thing goes with the roundhouse kick, just choose the targets wisely, okay? Um, let's have, let me see, Seagong and uh, Ash.
Quick bow. Good job. Chris and Angelina. Oh, good. What? 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 Yeah. What? 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 Strike. <laughs> I know that's why. I know. But I know it. Oh! It took him 
himself out. You okay? <laughs> and he took himself out. <laughs> Cats do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Shirt back home. <laughs> <laughs> it's no rules, yeah, no rules. <laughs> oh, okay. And that will not come down this time. <laughs> 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 so, she gone. Get your hand on her throat. She's grabbing your shirt. It's not hurting your shirt. Get that hand when you're holding her hand. Yeah, let me hold her hand. No, they're not. Yeah, do you want to? <laughs> Slap it. Slap that hand. Alright. There you go. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta keep her down there, Jack. Happens, yeah. and your, your goal is just to try to get out of that. Oh, and, no, and, um, that. Brandon, your goal is to try to get a choke in there or an arm bar. Or get her to submit or something. Or simulate punches too. Simulate it. I'm, not, I'm just gonna slap her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, 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 no, I'm just gonna slap her. Go. Yeah. 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 Slap, slap, slap. slap. <laughs> 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 yeah, right there, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I want you to fight out of it, because this is a good learning experience for all of you. So rather than reset it, I want you to see it. Really? Until Not someone says you're uncle. <laughs> or either uncle or auntie. Come on, Jacqueline. Come on, Jacqueline. You can get a choke in there too, Brian. Like, like this. You put Stop giving them a choke in there! What the heck? Wait a minute, no, no! No, you can't get a choke in there! I'm gonna get a choke in there too! Tell them what to do! Yeah. That's not right! Jacqueline, remember. That life sucks! <laughs> Jacqueline, remember, remember your hips. Remember your hips, Jacqueline. Put your hips up. Get up. Put your hips up. No, no, keep going. Get your hips up. Remember that hip twist. Yeah. Yeah. Hips hurt. Yeah, hip turn. Yeah. Hip turn. Hip turn. Hips up and turn. Yeah. Hips up and turn. But not on your stomach. Not on your stomach. But not on your stomach. Push your. You know, like when we do the uh, bridge. Bring your hips up and turn. And flip. Jacqueline. Yes. Up flip. Up and turn. Yeah, yeah, like that and turn. Get them off. 
Explode and get them off you. Shut <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you tips too. Look. Like I'll give you tips too. Up like this, up like that, and turn. Right. But not yeah. onto your stomach. You gotta get them off you. And then, and then, and then, Brandon, get that choke on her. Get her to submit. Get her to quit. Come on, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, okay. Uncle Ron. Like Uncle Ron. Go like that, like this. Okay. Get her, get her to quit. I'm not choking her though, but simulate. Want to simulate, simulate so that it gives her a, a feeling of what what to do. Really? <laughs> Fight out of it, Jacqueline. Try it, Jackson. Come on. Hips up. Fight out of it. Up. Up and flip them off. Get them off. Get them off. I don't know how she's managing this. Just one. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Try to not lose that position, Brandon. Try to not lose that position, Brandon. Jack, your goal, your goal right now is to get back up in the standing position. Come on. You got this. Get back up in the standing position. Hips up and to the left. Yes, you come on. Yeah, come on, yeah. come on. That's up and flip. Up and flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Up and flip. Up and flip. Up and flip. Strap his leg and your leg. Come on, Jason. Come on, Jay Quellen. Strap his leg right there. Strap his leg right there. Get your leg over come there. Come on, on, Jay Quellen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> While she's trying to do all that, Brandon, she get that choke on her. Get her to quit. Yeah, put more pressure on her, on her, on her neck. Get her to quit. Put your weight down. She's like, I'm not going to hold you. This is a simulation. Yeah. She'll quit. She'll quit. Yeah, she'll quit. Yeah, she'll quit. Just put more pressure. I want you to give her experience. Okay. Put more pressure on your forearm and you'll go down onto this. Yeah, 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 Jack. Just keep fighting. You gotta try to trap his ankle and then. Yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah, yeah. And up then and flip. turn. Up and turn. There you go. It's too. Mine's too strong. Mm. No, they're both just as strong as each other. He's not too strong. She's just as strong as him. Yeah, but she's gonna Yeah, but I'll have to You're just as strong. You want to stop it? <laughs> <laughs> somebody say it. Somebody say it. I'm trying to not kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Say, no, no, no. Auntie, Uncle See right Uncle. there is an arm bar, Brandon. You can get an arm bar like this and you turn like that on her shoulder. Oh my God. See? Right there. You're right. Simulate elbows to her head right there. Simulate elbows to her head so she knows that she could get hit right there. That's a wide open. She's almost. Yeah, yeah, you're almost there. Come on. You got like half, half, half out. Oh, oh. I just got back to the full. <laughs> no, you're done. You want to quit? Or you want to keep going? <laughs> You go like this. What did I do? No, 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 Well, you're flipping him off you. you. And then do that. Yeah. You know? So you bring him in just and then you flip him off. Just recreate the situation and practice that part. Right. Go back to where you were. Go yeah. back to where you were. So you got to pull him in close. Yeah. And then lift and flip. Yeah. So pull him, pull, try to get him close to you. Get him so close when I had my arms up there and I had him close to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, so you up and you flip him. This, this, yeah. Oh, and, you turn like yeah. that. 
and try to trap that leg. Yeah, but you want you want him closer to you. You want him closer yeah, down to you. Oh yeah. So that you don't flip onto your back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is this is good training, though. You know, yeah. you're yeah. All right, no tips for anybody. Figure it out. <laughs> oh yeah, now. <laughs> Figure it out. It's a tough one. This is a puzzle piece. How do you do it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where? Oh, right here. Where are you? I'm not really awesome. Thank you. You're just trying to get me like you don't want to say that. Yeah. You guys want me to let her go? Thank you. No. Oh. Like you want to use that hip strength. Push. Get him. And try to see if you can kind of like squeeze through his legs. And you know, with, with your legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squirming out like that. <laughs> There's an arm bar potentially that you could get too, Jack. From there? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the problem with turning like that is he could get you in a rear naked choke or a rear choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you turn like that, he could come yeah, around you and start choking you from the back. So you gotta be careful about that. Like if you're on your stomach, and then you can't really do much when you're on your stomach. You know, that's the problem with that. But at the same time, you go like this, you might be able to push them off like that. If you do get on four like that, you could potentially push them off like that. Oh gosh. Does anybody know what to do if, she, if they're in her situation? How to get out? I really don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably what I would do. I mean, it's, not, like, it's not really hurting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's like a thigh massage. <laughs> I mean, can, you, can she get her leg up around his head? Nope. Can she get I was trying. If it's you flexible. can't get, can you get this leg up around right his here? neck? No way. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, get it up. Oh. His shoulders. Get his, his, his shoulders. Bring his leg all the way up around his head. His what? shoulders in the way. I think I have, I have to come through. But I yeah. Don't like, the shoulder's like, in the way. Like a break dance? I would have to come through like his that. leg. It's almost like I've a seen hook. That it's like a hook. Oh. Someone was able to so it's like you bring it up, oh you hook God, it, and then you pull it over. Yeah. So if she could bring her leg up far enough to, to um, bypass his shoulder, and she could scoop it around his neck and his head, and then try to pull him down with her leg. She's not bringing his arm, it's all his arm on hers, right? It's me just keeping his arm from coming down. Right. Can't use any arms to make any strikes to the face. Right now. No, just, just, right? You know, he can simulate strikes. I'm saying she, but can she? Oh yeah, no, she can't. Yeah, because she All wants to protect her neck. Yeah. I mean, and you can't get it. You can You can You can't get your you arms around. You can get his finger to uh, get him to surrender with the finger uh, lock. You can do that. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Finger lock. So it's too late. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what about around yeah, yeah. his neck, though? You can't but this is this is good. Good training for her. Well, what if he's got like stronger like, yeah. if he chokes you out first? Yeah. That's not for me. This is like a worst case scenario for me. Are you still taping this? <laughs> All right, neutral. Oh yeah. All right, good job, guys. Woo! Stop it. Let's take a quick picture.